I've just made the bobble to be used as a button uh, on this first mitt that I'm making. Um, and now I'll show you how to do uh, the same thing on the second one. So first I'm going to knit through to my middle stitch. Okay, so I've got five stitches on uh, either side and my one stitch in the middle. And uh, on this middle stitch, I'm going to knit into it one time, but I won't pull it off my left hand needle. So I've got this new stitch I just made, but I'm keeping uh, the old stitch on the left hand needle because I'm not done with it yet. Uh, and then I'm going to wrap my yarn one time. So now I've got two stitches out of this one stitch. And then I'm going to knit again into the same thing, but still not pull it off the needle. So now I've got three stitches on this one stitch. Wrap one more time and knit one last time. So now I've got five stitches where originally I had just one. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to turn and purl back across those uh, same five stitches. Two rows. I'm going to turn it and knit across again. Just the five stitches of the bobble, three rows, and turn it and purl one more time. So now I've done four rows. And now I'm going to do the fifth and final row, and I can always remember that because I've got five stitches across um, by five rows up to make the bobble. On this last row, I need to reduce myself back down to just one stitch, so first I'm going to knit two together. Then I'm going to knit two more together. And then I'm going to knit that last fifth stitch and pull uh, the, the first two stitches over the last stitch. And there it is. It looks a little funny now, it's got a big hole in here, but after I knit across and then come back and purl back around, um, it'll be a little bit more solid, solidly stuck to the fabric. Uh, and now we've got our bobble buttons.